rain that's coming at the end of the week, right? Yeah, so what are you saying? Not enough to complain about here in early, right. Jan yeah, right. in early January. I mean, we have certainly been living the good life here as of late. We've had no real cold, no real snowmakers to contend with. And for the most part, our temperatures have been better than they typically are this time of the year. We're going to get a little bit of a setback tomorrow with a chill in the air. The good news is just one day with a fast warm up on its heels that will build its way to near record warmth by the weekend. And as a added bonus it appears at least as of now that flood threat a lot less concerning for the weekend it looks like we are really pulling back on those excessive rainfall amounts more on that though here in just a moment but tomorrow the big story is it will be breezy and colder temperatures tomorrow will be about a full 10 to 15 degrees colder than they were today so it's a reality check for your hump day with afternoon highs tomorrow only going to make it into the upper 30s it will be the coolest day of the week. Look at this though, fast warm up back into the 50s on Thursday, mid 50s on Friday. That's right, we could be topping 70 on Saturday. In fact, I expect record warmth on Saturday around the area and then only settling back into the 50s on Sunday. So this mild weather pattern is here to stay. Again, still from now through at least the 16th or 17th, I don't see any cold or real snow for us. All right, right now we're in a nice place today. We had a little weather system scoop by last night and this morning to our south and east with some snow. We need to focus our attention on this cold front that's up around Chicago. This will deliver that glancing blow of chilly air for tomorrow. So as we're back downtown, 41 degrees at the airport, not too bad at the moment. We're not going to fall too terribly quick tonight. Most of us right now, give or take a degree or two on either side of 40. Most of us right near that 40 degree mark. Spring World 43, Mason, same story. Harrison at 42. You slide into within the loop here. 43 in Madeira, 44 on the west side over around Dale High. So over the next few hours, yes, it turns chilly, but not too cold. We'll only drop from the 40s back into the mid 30s. Here's a look at future casts. A few passing clouds through the night. The only way you'll really know the cold front comes through in the morning. The winds will kick up. It will be a breezy day. They won't be excessive, but they will be quite chilly, especially given temperatures are about 10 degrees colder and with a breeze, it will feel noticeably cooler tomorrow, but at least we'll have the sun. Clear skies sets us up for a cold night Wednesday night, and then on Thursday, plenty of sunshine. We'll see some clouds roll in here during the afternoon, but we are right back into the 50s. And as I promised, rainfall amounts considerably lower. You remember yesterday there were amounts of three, four plus inches around the area. Right now it looks like anywhere between about an inch and an inch and a half is average. While the grounds are saturated and the rivers are already high around here, we can handle an inch or so of rainfall, not three or four. So partly cloudy tonight and chilly 30 for an overnight low and then for tomorrow chilly sunshine a nice day, but considerably colder. There's a look at your day planner again only in the upper 30s for those highs on your Wednesday. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, 57 on Friday. The rain on Friday still looks fairly light. Could have some thunder in here on Saturday, Mike and Shree, and there's that 70 and a continuation of the mild temperatures into next week. Kevin, thank